Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. But to my old subscribers, thank you for always coming back. I do appreciate you for that. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips or hacks that I have personally experienced. And these hacks are kind of like solutions to me, things that work for me. And I feel like I should share because they can also work for you. I learned some of these things online and some of them I just had to try different things to discover which was best for me and i'm also gonna show you some fashion hacks of course you guys know i am all about that life like no matter how hard this thing is eh? Hmm? i always want to look for one or two solutions on how to look good and how not to look good or <laughs> just how to look comfortable or how to dress comfortably so before i get into showing you what i feel like are fashion hacks to me i'm gonna tell you this this whole pregnancy thing i decided not to buy or not to spend money on any maternity outfit because they are maternity outfits and after you give birth they are useless until the next time you get pregnant again and if you don't plan on getting pregnant again what do you do with them and they are so expensive you won't even believe out here they are so expensive so before i get into that let me first of all start with the basic things so the first thing that you need if you're going through nausea, I'm going to start with nausea. My pregnancy, the first trimester and way into the second trimester was hell. I had so much nausea, it was crazy. And what worked for me then, it did not solve the problem. It did not solve the problem. But it helped me a lot, was mint. I used to, even though it has sugar, but I used to, you know, just try to hold on to anything that was minty. Because it helped to suppress the nausea and it helped to also suppress the desire to vomit. That was the first thing. Then another thing that worked for me was coffee. Normally, doctors advise that you should not drink more than a certain amount of coffee per day. And I really followed that rule. No, I am not a, a coffee person like that. I drink coffee only when I'm working. And it's usually in the morning. I can just take a small cup with enough milk yes so i tried that and it worked for me i did not go across the limit that the doctor recommended so i just kept it below and it also helped me i realized that sometimes i even drank just black coffee and it really helped me i won't even lie so doctors will say don't drink too much and if you don't exceed the limit it's not gonna harm you but when you start exceeding the limit drinking like two or three cups a day that's when you might have a miscarriage you are in the in the point you you are in the danger zone of having a miscarriage or um giving birth to a very cranky baby and all that stuff that they say so yeah that one really helped me the second thing is keeping my weight under control during the first trimester and way into the second trimester i put on so much weight it was ridiculous that is to me if you ask me some people might look at me and say that oh no you are not fat or you did not put on put on too much weight but my weight now is outrageous like i have never weighed like this and to me it's outrageous and most of the uh the weight gain was not due to my 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 baby it was just going on different parts of my body especially my bum bum and at some point i had to like take a break and you know try to 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 control or maintain a particular amount of weight because i didn't want to exceed that weight and what i did was i eat less but healthy and then i drink water thankfully enough this is summer so you don't even have a choice you are just drinking water and what i did was i stayed away from anything that had sugar and juice and all those things i concentrated more on water i am still doing that up till now because water does not only help to like it's, it's very healthy first of all we all know water is healthy but it also helps to hydrate you and it keeps you fresh and it's very good for the body and the baby i'm not looking at the size of my bump my bump is a little bit bigger than it should be because of a medical reason which i cannot explain to you guys and um People meet me and when they say, oh, but you're, you look big and the, big, the, the bump is big, I cannot start explaining myself to any and everybody, so I just let them see. Thus, you should be very conscious of the things that you say to a pregnant woman because you don't know what they go through or you don't know what is happening to people. 
Mm, yes. Anyways, but you need water and you need to keep your weight under control. The next thing is um, passing out gas. If you remember my pregnancy review video, I was all about I'm gassing anyhow. You know, then it was funny, then it was nice, and then it became very difficult for me. It went to a stage where I had excess gas in my stomach and passing out that gas was a struggle. It was a struggle. And I could feel like bubbles, I, can, I could feel very bubbly. And then to I really feel like I need to pass out this gas, either by burping or just gassing. <laughs> Either by burping or just gassing and then there will be no way and then I'll be under so much pain for about one or two hours. And finally, when I pass out the gas, I'll feel very relieved. So I discovered, I tried so many things. I tried to, I was drinking gas water, I was drinking, I almost threatened to drink bicarbonate. But, you know, with pregnancy, you're limited. You can't really do so many things. Sometimes you just have to sit and wait. Yes. So at some point, I discovered that when I sleep on the right side, I pass out gas very easily guys so if you are going through the same thing always try to sleep on your right side maybe it might work for you but it's working for me like it's like magic it's like a miracle I can't even understand I can't explain to you when I just feel like passing out air when I start feeling bubbly I just sleep on my right side if I'm at home because that usually happens when I'm at home if I'm at home I just sleep or I try to lie on the right side and then everything just and usually I don't burp, I just gas. So now the gasation is very okay. I'm happy with the way it is, you know. It used to give me so much pain and so much stress. So that's something you should also try. The next point is moisturizing. And this is something that everyone knows. For my first pregnancy, I did not do this at all. Like, I did not do it at all. I did not use any kind of oil to keep um, stretch marks away. I did not put my stretch marks any under any kind of control and I had them with uh, the passage of time some of them fade they faded out and some of them were still there but with my second pregnancy immediately I realized that I was pregnant I started using um, first of all I started using coconut and shea butter oil mixed together I just used that all over my body because now I don't use my normal lotion anymore and then I saw so many people recommending bio oil. I decided to try that and that's what I've been using ever since. I cannot say that uh, I have seen results yet because my bump is still growing and I'll only confirm that at the end after the baby comes. I will only confirm that after the baby comes. So I don't want to say anything but I just feel like bio oil, I'll tell you, is very good for moisturizing your baby bump. You don't need to apply it only on your bump. You have to apply it on those areas that are likely to have stretch marks. And, and I'm talking about your backside, your buttocks, your laps, your thighs, and for some people, your arms and your underarms, like not underarms as in armpit, but your arms, this part. Some people actually do put on weight on this part of their bodies. And for me, no. And then you have to rub them too on your boobs. The two parts that I don't joke with, every day I moisturize. I apply bio oil on my boobs and on my bum because it's growing and it's growing and uh, yeah if you want to have that stretch mark free body and then you have to do what you have to do and they say that stretch mark is hereditary but my mom does not have even one on her body i don't know where i i'm a very tiny person i don't know where it came from so i don't know i cannot really conclude on that i cannot say anything on that particular conclusion so yes now we are going to move into the fashion side of it so right now we are going to go into the fashion hacks that I have for you guys. First of all, like I said before, I advise you that if you are working on a budget or you have limited budget, I will tell you not to spend your money on maternity clothes. And the first hack I will tell you is buy clothes that are spandex, like are elastic, is that what I mean? Clothes that actually expand, clothes that are comfortable and actually expand. I'm gonna show you an example and I'm gonna give you an example this outfit that I'm wearing I got this outfit in my size and let me just stand up for you guys to see the way it is and then I'll tell you how you can actually wear this as time goes on as you can see this is a gown yes for a regular person or for my regular size this is a gown and it has been a gown right up to this point where I don't feel like I can wear it as a gown I can actually but you can actually wear this with tights or with um, yes you can wear this with tights and that's how you save some coins okay yes the next fashion hack is 
that you should buy regular clothes but not really tight fitted clothes but clothes that are free like this dress i'm gonna put a picture here so you guys can see how it looks on my body and i can still wear this right up into the third trimester you know this this is what it looks like and you know i got this from zara and it's in the size small i got it with my size this is something that i can wear now and even after i give birth i can still wear it the next outfit hack that i'm gonna show you guys is a pencil skirt and crop top before I got pregnant I was so into crop tops and right now I just feel like oh I, some people feel like they can't wear crop tops during pregnancy but you actually can and I'm gonna show you how you can actually do that right now so as you can see that's how you can you can actually play with a pencil skirt during pregnancy you can just take it up higher and place it where it's very comfortable for you and then you can wear a small crop top that, that it's not gonna be like crop crop you don't need to show your bum <laughs> You don't need to show your bum it's not gonna be like crop crop but it's gonna be like yeah yeah it's just gonna end exactly where the skirt is ends to so that's okay and that's just a few of uh, my fashion hacks that I have for you guys there are so many other fashion hacks out there but if I think of anything I'm gonna try to be inserting in each video that I put out here each pregnancy video so you guys can you know you can share I can share with you guys and if you also have some ideas please share with me you know it's all about sharing out here so thank you guys for watching before i go stay pretty stay slain and always smile bye guys